Hey, what's up guys? Fabi here once again. I want to welcome you to a little laser disc update. Didn't get much this time around. I only got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen movies. Uh, one I got two different versions of, and another one's actually a replacement, or not a replacement laser disc, but an extra laser disc that I got. Um, which I will talk about that, but you know today tonight I wanted to shoot it because um, Just kind of feeling down tonight. Um, we found out today that um, One of the black belts in my class is actually leaving um, The class because he uh, got laid off. So he's actually going to uh, To be a truck driver there and they're sending him to college, you know, not college But you know that kind of school and everything so you know not I mean not you know, it's a legitimate reason, you know, it's not like he just decided to quit, you know, he didn't want to do it anymore, so I wish him the best of luck, we'll miss him, he's a good guy, you know, fun guy to be with, you know, to work out with and everything, and also we found out that one of our masters, um, her mother passed away, yes, it's a her, uh, her mother passed away, so, you know, got to send her a card and everything, uh, I haven't seen her in a while, she hasn't been in, but still, you know, it's, you know, your martial arts family, you know. So yeah, so kind of feeling down about that, and plus yesterday uh, at work a guy got fired, a guy, cool guy, you know, he was there I think about seven years, and they just got tired of him and fired him, which sucks, because he's a cool guy and stuff like that, but, you know, I guess I just got fed up. So, yeah, just kind of feeling bad, wanted to talk about some laser discs, so let's get started. First is a movie that I recently reviewed. Um, love this movie. I think it's a very underrated film, and I found it really cheap on Laserdisc. So I got the signature collection of Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. And it's actually a gatefold, so it opens up. There's the first flap. Got some production notes from the director. Uh, got really cool pictures. There's uh, Rob Cohen, the director. There's Linda Lee Cadwell. And Raffaella De Laurentiis, who's one of the producers. Another picture up there of Rob Cohen and on the second flap you have all the chapters got some really cool pictures from the movie there this is actually a four side laser disc uh, so it's two discs sides one through three is the movie and side four is all the extra features which includes um, storyboards uh, Jason Scott Lee screen test Making a featurette, featurette outtakes, uh, theatrical trailer. I forgot on side one, before the movie, there's actually a trailer before the movie. And then there's an introduction from Linda Lee Cadwell. Uh, production photographs, promotional materials, Bruce Lee photographs, and Bruce Lee interview. Um, this also has an audio commentary with director Rob Cohen on the right analog channel, like I said. I guess I need a remote to activate the audio commentaries, but I don't have a, a remote for my Laserdisc player. But it's no big deal because all these features are actually on the DVD. But I love this movie. think it's very underrated. Wanted to pick it up on Laserdisc. So that is Dragon. And then I got another copy of Game of Death. Uh, basically, I bought a martial arts lot, uh, which included three other Laserdiscs that I did want. And then this one... I figured I'd just hold on to it, you know, so I got an extra one, because this one's actually in a little bit better shape. So there's a guy on here named Cinema Sickness, who I enjoy all his videos, um, and I know that he loves to collect laser discs, and, you know, it's actually his favorite format. So I sent him an email and asked him if he wanted to trade. I said that I had a, you know, another copy of this that I was looking to trade, and he sent me his list. So I actually ended up getting... The Blues Brothers on Laserdisc. Um, he had some other Laserdiscs, um, and this is really the one that I was the most interested in. I love The Blues Brothers. It's a great movie. It's a it, you know it's a cult classic. Um, you know it's an awesome movie. You know I love Blues Brothers. I grew up with it. I love the characters. I love the music. I love the you know the music that they did. You know back in the day, John Belushi. You know may God rest his soul. Um, this is actually a three-sided laser disc. Side one and two is extended play. Side three is CAV, standard play, which is 30 minutes per side. It's frame by frame. You can do frame by frame, which is cool. And at the end of the movie, it actually has a theatrical trailer. 
And I didn't know that there's actually a signature collection laser disc out of this, which has extra features. So I might actually pick that up and just keep both versions because this I got for free in a trade. You know, very nice guy, very cool guy here on YouTube. Send him a sickness, check him out. So that's Blues Brothers. And then the other three movies I got in the martial arts lot were the American release of Showdown in Little Tokyo. I have the Japanese release. You know, wanted to get both. This is actually an X rental. It has a sticker right there. But love Showdown in Little Tokyo. Then I got a movie, which I talked about in my DVD update um, on Blu-ray. I got Bloodsport. The only problem with this laser disc is at side two it has some laser rot. Laser rot's basically when you see like sparkles or like, you know, the picture gets kind of distorted, you know, that kind of thing. So that was a, a big problem with laser discs back in the day, especially the, the later laser discs that came out, you know, in the mid 90s. I know some of the Steven Seagal movie I have has some laser rot to it. Basically, what they tried, what they did was they just kind of half assed it when they were making them and, and tried to squeeze as much as stuff, footage they could on one side and stuff like that. But other than that, there's no problem. They actually screwed the stickers up because it says side two, but it's actually side one. I learned that, you know, when I put it in. But yeah, I mean, I love Bloodsport. Definitely a martial arts classic. Can't go wrong. And the last movie that I got in that martial arts lot is a, another movie that I really enjoy. Another martial arts film that I love. Um, saw it for the first time over the summer, the whole thing, and I loved it. Now I have it on VHS. I have two copies on VHS, DVD, and now Laserdisc. And this is my favorite movie in the series. Best of the best, too. This one's in widescreen, got a lot of cool production notes on the back here. But, you know, it, on the back here it talks a lot about Eric Roberts, because Eric Roberts was very popular at the time, you know. But Philip Ree is really the star of all these movies. You know, in the first, you know, the first two, Eric Roberts kind of overshadows him, but Philip Ree is the man, and he kicks all kinds of ass in these movies. So that's Best of the Best too. Now, I got two copies of a movie that is a science fiction classic. I talked about it in my DVD update, and I said that you'd be hearing more about it. So I got two copies of Blade Runner. First, I got the Criterion Collection. And back in the day, for some reason, Criterion Collection, what they would do was they would release two versions of a movie on Laserdisc. What they would do was the first version, which I think is this one, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. But the, uh, yes, first printing. Okay, 1987. Okay, the first version of the movie that would come out would be CAV, which is 30 minutes per side, like I said earlier. So you have to do more sides per movie. Now, a movie like Blade Runner, which is two hours long, pretty much, you know, has to be about four sides, you know, and, you know, 30 minutes per side. And that's exactly what this is. And it also has some extra features at the end of the movie. It has um, Sid Maid, who did all the, the artwork. You know, he drew a lot of the artwork that they ended up using as, you know, um, you know ideas to make the, the cinematography, you know, the, the set design and stuff like that. Um, it has a fan's notes, uh, trivia test, and a bibliography. So nothing spectacular in the way of extra features, but this was actually this and the CLV version, which is just the movie on two sides were actually very sought out for a long time because they were the only releases of the original theatrical version of Blade Runner in widescreen. Um, you know, the first DVD of Blade Runner that came out in the late 90s was actually the director's cut. And it was in widescreen, but the quality of the DVD was, was not good at all. You know, it was like a lot of laser disc quality. And I think it was a flipper disc too. I think you had to flip the side over like a lot of early DVDs were. But, you know, um, like I said, Criterion Collection, what they would do was they would release two different versions of movies. Why? I have no idea. You know, I think that's kind of stupid. You know, that's just me. But, you know, this is the, the CAV version. It has, you know, you know, four sides, extra features. But the side splits are absolutely terrible. Side one ends at the scene where um, Roy Batty goes to see James Hong's character and it just cuts in mid-sentence, you know, the side just ends. And then side two ends 
when um uh when Deckard kills Zahora, you know, it or Zora, I'm sorry. I always say Zahora for some reason. But Zora, it just ends, you know, he kills her and then it ends. And then side three is you know, ends when Deckard kills Pris, you know, Daryl Hannah's character. And then side four is just like the last 15 minutes of the movie, and then it's the extra features. But, you know, this came in pretty good shape. I'm going to take it out of the case here. So there's the front and the back, and then it's actually also a gatefold. But I think they kind of wasted space on this gatefold, because there's the first one. You get a picture from the movie and some concept art by Sid made, which they show more of, and then you just get another picture you know I wish they would have put more pictures on the side but yes this was this and the other version of the movie were actually and still actually are very sought out by Blade Runner fans and Laserdisc collectors because it's pretty much up until the box set that came out the DVD box set was pretty much the only way to get the original movie in widescreen the version with the narration and the happy ending. Now, I like this version, I like the theatrical version, I like the narration, but I don't like the happy ending because I just feel that the happy ending, it, 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 it's, I wouldn't call it a mind fuck, but it just kind of slaps the audience in the face because that's not the point of the movie. The, you know, Blade Runner, it's supposed to be dark, it's supposed to be gritty, dirty. It's not supposed to end on a happy note, so I think it really com defeats the purpose of the entire movie, and that's just me. But that's the uh, Criterion Collection of Blade Runner. And then I also got the Director's Cut of Blade Runner, which I like. I like this version. Uh, this is probably my favorite version um, because, you know, it has the, the original ending where the movie just ends, which I thought was great. You know, it, I think it fit perfectly because... You know, at the end of the movie, you know, for those of you that have seen it, for those of you that haven't seen it, turn the video off now, but, you know, at the end of the movie, you know, Deckard kills all the replicants except Rachel, who he's fallen in love with, and he decides that he's going to, you know, hang up his gun and, and, and live with this girl. So, I mean, it, it, it defeats, the happy ending defeats the purpose for me because, you know, Deckard you know, it proves why he's human, which is also why I don't think Deckard's a replicant, because at the end of the movie, he does the human thing, you know, so there you go. But this is the director's cut version, you know, this is also CAV four sides, and the side splits are, once again, like the Criterion Collection, absolutely terrible. But no extra features, it's just the movie, and it's not a gatefold, um, but it isn't widescreen like the Criterion Collection, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind having, you know, both versions of the movie on Laserdisc. I mean, I love Blade Runner. You know, it's now, now that I've, you know, seen the whole movie and everything, you know, I, I absolutely appreciate it and everything. And it's a classic. And then next I got another Criterion Laserdisc. Um, definitely a science fiction classic and an action classic. Robocop. This is the CAV Criterion Collection. Once again, four sides, two discs. Uh, the side splits on here are actually good, <laughs> unlike the Criterion Collection of Blade Runner. But this came out in 1995, excuse me, and this was like right before DVD hit and stuff like that. But it has the unrated director's cut, which has more violence in it, which, you know, I like more. <clears throat> excuse me, I have the hiccups. Uh, Scene-specific stereo audio commentary with director Paul Verhoeven co-writer Ed Newman, Newmaner, producer John Davidson, and Robocop expert Paul Salmon. Film to storyboard comparison, an extensive still frame supplement chronicling, chronicling, chronicling the production of Robocop. So yeah, widescreen, it's the original version of the movie. And there's the front and the back. And once again, it is a gatefold. I think all of Criterion's were gatefolds, the CAV versions. There's the first flap, which has a lot of production notes and some cool pictures on there. And the second flap with all the, you know, the credits, the cast and the crew, you know, the chapter stops, you know, that kind of stuff. And, yeah, once again, not really great, you know, extras. I mean, well, they're, you know, I, I take that back, I'm sorry. They're great, but, you know, they're not, like, deleted scenes and stuff like that. Basically, it's just... Uh, it's just pictures, you know, it's behind-the-scenes photos, you know, storyboards, publicity materials, that kind of stuff. 
So yeah, so side one ends um, basically after they finish building RoboCop is when it ends. Side two begins, you know, when he's on the gun range and, and that kind of stuff. And then side two ends when, after he goes to his house, you know, when RoboCop goes back home and he breaks the TV. And that, see, these are good places to end the sides. Side three ends, like, right, um, you know, when they're preparing for the final showdown. And then side four is the final showdown, and then it's all the, the extra features. So, yeah, that's RoboCop. Got it really cheap. So, I think it was like 10, it was like 12 bucks with free shipping. So that's why I got it. You know, I love RoboCop. So, probably not going to get RoboCop 2 on LaserDisc um, unless I find it. Well, I know there's a widescreen version, which is harder to find. If I can find that, I'll probably get it. But I know that one's hard to find. But, I mean, I, I, mean, I like RoboCop 2, don't get me wrong. But... Next up is another martial arts film. Um, I have it on VHS, and I got it on VHS because it's the uncut version. And I also wanted to get this laser disc because it's also the uncut version. And I know that these films, it's a series of movies, I know they've actually fallen into the public domain. And I've talked about these movies before. You'll see them at Walmart in like the $1 slim case DVDs. You know, so it's really hard to tell which, you know, version, you know, which release is the uncut version. So I don't mind having them on VHS and Laserdisc to make sure that the uncut versions. But I got Sonny Chiba in Return of the Street Fighter. And I'm trying to get uh, Street Fighter's Last Revenge because that's uncut and Sister Street Fighter because that's uncut as well. So I'm going to try and get all of the original Street Fighter movies, you know, on uh, Laserdisc because they're uncut. So that's that one. And then next, I uh, bought these two. They were a, they were a set. Um, you know, I, I've been wanting to get these for a while. I kept putting it off. You know, um, then the guy actually marked it down ten percent. So then I said, okay, you know, get it and don't worry about it. So I got actually the Terminator, which is this is actually the THX version, which is like the best version to get on laser disc, and it has the trailer at the end of the movie. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's got some scuff marks on the bottom here, the bottom edge right there. You probably can't see it, but other than that, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. And there's the back. And then I finally completed, actually my Terminator collection is pretty much done in terms of DVDs and stuff like that. So now I just want to collect, you know, the action figures. There's a lot of cool action figures that are out. Uh, posters, you know, I want to get posters of Terminator 1 and 2, you know, comic books, that kind of stuff, video games. So I finished up, you know, with these, with the first Terminator, you know, and I also got, been wanting to get this for a while, and it's definitely one of my favorite laser discs, and it's definitely one of the nicest laser discs ever created. I got the special edition box set of Terminator 2 with the gold front. Um, they did several pressings of this particular box set the first one was the silver version which you know the terminator silver which that was the the first one to come out then it was gold and then they did a blue one and a red one i know blue and red are the hardest to find gold is probably the most common um but i did want to get the silver one because you know the terminator silver but gold is is cool with me but this is a very nice very thick uh, leather box, you know, that it comes in, and then there's the bo the inner box, which I'll pull out. Um, you get this great, you know, once again, another hard uh, box. You get on the front, you get a picture of Arnold, which is great, and then you get a picture of the Terminator. And then it's kind of cut, you can see it's cut here, and then you have all the discs inside there. This is actually the uh, the special edition of the movie which is longer, which at first, when I first saw this version, I actually didn't like it. But you got three discs, um, disc, you know, they all look like that, you know, disc one, disc two, and they all look the same on the back. And the sleeves actually at the bottom say Terminator 2 Special Edition, which is pretty cool. Now, it's uh, six sides. The first three sides is the movie in CLV, so it's an hour per side. And then side four, five, and six are actually the extra features, 
which are CAV because it's frame by frame. You know, you have to go through each frame. Um, there, there is a lot of um, a lot of still photography and a lot of data that you have to read, and then you can actually finally get to some video footage, which is cool. But yeah, all this stuff is on the DVD, but well, actually not all of it. I'll get to that in a second because here on side six, the last side is actually the music video for Guns N' Roses' song, You Could Be Mine, which is in the movie, which is not on the DVD because at that time, Guns N' Roses had already broken up and there was a huge legal dispute over who owned what and everything. So they actually did not give uh, permission for the company to use the, um, you know, the music video on the DVD. And I already watched the movie and some of the extra features. I just haven't watched Disc 3 yet. I'd, I'd like to, you know... Because, you know, also on here, it's got some further deleted scenes, which they put in the extended special edition. It's got trailers, you know, posters, all kinds of stuff on here. And like I said, all this stuff is on the Ultimate Edition DVD, which is the best DVD to get. But, you know, I don't mind having this on Laserdisc. It's Terminator 2, you know, I got the theatrical version and the special edition, which, like I said, now, I guess because I'm older, I appreciate the special edition more and stuff like that. And it's actually cool because the catalog number, well, you know, this is the Pioneer Special Edition, which Pioneer did. Um, and the catalog number is 82997. And if some of you are wondering what that is, that's actually the date in the Terminator movies of Judgment Day, August 29th, 1997. So I thought that was kind of cool how they did that. But yeah, and it also comes with a booklet You know, you get, um, you know, on this one, it tells you, you know, which chapter the deleted scenes are on. On here, you get a, you know, a little note from James Cameron, and then it opens up again. And you get all the, in the middle here, you get all the chapter stops. And on here, you get a, a note about THX. And then on the back, you get this really cool picture. And I also, like, I, they also did a... Special edition VHS set, which is just the, the special edition of the movie. And then the second tape, it's the making of the special edition. Like it talks about the deleted scenes and then it has trailers and the deleted scenes. So some of the extra features from this laser disc were put on that VHS set, which I also have. So that's that. And then you get um, just some notes about, you know, it, it tells you here like about, you know, the... the you know, the frame by frame and, and everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty little cool thing here. And then this was actually part of the back, but they took it off. It's just a little ad here. It tells you, you know, about the special edition and what's on here and stuff like that. So that's definitely one of my favorite Laserdisc sets. Um, you know, it was definitely worth the money picking up. And, you know, it's Terminator 2. You can't go wrong with Terminator 2 in my mind. Now, these next five I actually got in the mail today, and, you know, it's a series of movies, you know, so I was, I, the guy had the whole lot, you know, all five of them, in a lot, and they're in great shape. The last one's actually brand new, um, not opened yet, and all I'm going to ask is, do you believe in Jesus? I hope you do. <laughs> I got all five Death Wish movies. The original Death Wish which I think is an uh, extremely underrated classic from the 70s. Death Wish 2, which is a fantastic sequel. Very under Well, all these movies are underrated, but... Death Wish 3, which is, you know, mostly everybody's favorite. And they all come with sleeves and stuff, great shape, the discs are perfect. Death Wish 4, The Crackdown, which is my favorite. And the new one was Death Wish 5, The Face of Death, which I know people don't like this one, but I do. Um, I like how uh, Charles Bronson was doing different stuff in the movie, like he kills the guy with the explosive soccer ball, and he, he puts uh, like poison on the guy's cannoli, you know, it's just, it was cool, it was a little different, you know, it was cool stuff in it, you know, I love all these Death Wish movies, so that one was new, and then they also threw in this picture of Charles Bronson, which is very nice, I mean, a very nice glossy picture, 
Um, it's a shame I can't get an autograph because, you know, Charles Bronson's no longer with us. But, yeah, I mean, that was cool. That was definitely worth the money, like, I shelled out for it. It was, like, 60 bucks for all of them. You know, I didn't mind paying that much to get all of them, you know. So, I wanted them, so there you go. So, yeah, that's my little Laserdisc update. Like I said, it, it wasn't as much as I usually get. But, yeah, I'm going to be calming down on the Laserdiscs. Um, once I get my tax return money, I actually want to get some some things that I've been wanting to get for a while. The Power Rangers box set. I'm actually, right now, in the process of finishing up the original Ninja Turtles cartoon. Um, I bought Season 4 today from a guy, and he has Season 5 and 6 on eBay, but they're not ending for a couple of days because they're bids. So I have to wait till those are finished, and then I'll get Volume 4 from another guy, hopefully. And I'll have all the original Ninja Turtles. And then I actually want to start on the 2003 series. And then I also want to get all the rest of the Beavis and Butthead stuff that I want. Because I really want to finish that up. And get all that stuff. So yeah, so this will probably be the last Laserdisc update for a little while. Um, you know, in terms of just getting different kinds of stuff. Wasn't picking my nose, I was scratching it. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little Laserdisc update. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.